हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे माय डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज सेफ हैंडलिंग ऑफ केमोथेरापी ड्रग एंड केमोथेरापी वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑलवेज हैंडल केमोथेरापी मेडिसिन विथ केयर डोंट टच केमोथेरापी मेडिसिन लाइक कैप्सूल टैबलेट लिक्विड इंजेक्शन विथ बेयर हैंड्स एंड आफ्टर प्रोसीड्योर बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट सो टूडे माई टॉपिक इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर इट विथ माई फ्रेंड्स बिफोर गोइंग टू द टॉपिक इलाबोरेटली जस्ट आई इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज लक्ष्मी विश्वास सीनियर नर्सिंग ऑफिसर ई एस आई सी जोका एंड माई क्वालिफिकेशन इज बी एस सी इन प्योर साइंस इन जेनरल स्ट्रीम इन नर्सिंग आई डन माई जी एन एम एंड बी एस सी नर्सिंग एंड आई एम इन सर्विस फ्रॉम नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन Risks for occupational exposure. Since 1970s, evidence came to light indicating healthcare workers may be at risk of harmful effects from anti-neoplastic drugs. More than 100 students since 1994 have documented of contamination of the work environment with this type of drugs. Presence of hazardous drugs. in the urine of healthcare workers studies have shown that workers continue to be exposed despite safety exposures handling cytotoxic drugs can cause adverse health effects may be acute effects or chronic effects acute effects dizziness nausea headache dermatitis menstrual problems chronic effects damage organs infertility may be temporarily or permanent leukemia and cancer reproductive effects fetal loss congenital malformation low birth weight root of exposure absorption via skin or mucous membrane inhalation drug dust or droplets ingestion via contact with contaminated food drink etc injection by accidental health care workers are potentially exposed by preparation and administration by care of patient during and after chemotherapy by handling of patients blood urine sweat emesis and feces by disposal of textiles and waste by cleaning of rooms by cleaning equipment by service of safety cabinet and ventilation system by operation and autopsy ppe personal protective equipment number 1 gown long sleeve number 2 double gloves number 3 mask number 4 goggles number 5 face shield double gloves are useful for extra protection 
for simplify the work steps for less risk for contamination handling cytotoxic drug contaminated laundry number 1 always wear gloves number 2 never carry soil linen against the body number 3 carefully roll up soiled linen to prevent contamination number 4 placed linen into a clearly labeled container or leak proof plastic and tie securely so special routine and labeled plastic bag is very important for handling this type of contaminated linen excretory product in body fluids urine through urine feces emesis blood and secretions sweats waste disposal must be labeled box or container with lid puncture proof container for serves cytotoxic waste typically will be segregated in yellow container or yellow plastic with biohazard symbol obviously double packed in case of yellow plastic obviously double packed and tied never in red biohazard container because red container or red biohazard plastic plastics waste product to be recycled for further use so cytotoxic waste typically will be segregated in yellow container or yellow plastic waste seal must be air tight packs to prevent the spread of dangerous aerosols dust and vaporization also cleaning of surfaces routine for cleaning rooms toilet surfaces by water and alkaline detergent by disinfectant practice careful hand wash we know about seven steps of hand washing method and of course minimum 20 second is necessary for effective hand washing method by soap and water disinfectant eliminate spread of infection systemic approach very important first examine the patient drugs that to be administered preparation room surroundings and supply of ppes then try to find out how to work in a safe way number 3 risk assessment number 4 solution number 5 control follow up and evaluation be safe working with chemotherapy number 1 wear ppe personal 
प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट नंबर टू एवॉइड और मिनिमाइज एक्सपोजर नंबर थ्री प्लान योर वर्किंग स्टेप्स नंबर फोर वॉश योर हैंड्स नंबर फाइव सील द वेस्ट या टाइट नंबर सिक्स क्लीनिंग रूटीन्स नंबर सेवन मेक श्योर एवरीबॉडी वर्क इन द सेम वे One thing is left as a matter of law and medical ethics an oncologist is required to obtain a patient's informed consent before administering chemotherapy so consent is very important for chemotherapy even if the oncologist strongly believes that chemotherapy is the best treatment option available to the patient chemotherapy will be carried out only after acquiring the consent from the patient before chemotherapy the details of the treatment will be explained to the patient who will then request it to sign a consent form the patient should be informed about the following nature and duration of treatment advantages and disadvantages of treatment benefits of treatment risks involved possibilities of other treatment one more